Okay, this video here, we're looking at more indicial quadratic action. Uh, this time it really is about the hardest one that you're going to do. Now, heads up, I have tried to record this video a couple of times, uh, but it really is quite a hard question. I keep stuffing it up, or at least not really explaining it very well. So this is going to be my last time trying to do this, otherwise I'm just going to give up entirely. Um, now, first things first, you're going to a hint to know that this is a quadratic equation is by looking at this, there's three terms, 4 to the x minus 2x plus 3 plus 16 equals 0. That looks like a quadratic equation, so you should be on high alert straight away. Uh, first thing that you can do that's going to make your life easier is to look at this 4 to the power of x and realize that that's the same as 2 to the 2 x. Okay, so there's step one, and it's similar to some other uh, indicial quadratic stuff we've done in some other questions. This next one, though, you might not have seen before. Uh, I'm going to deal. I'm going to deal with two things at once here. First of all, uh, two to the two x. This is going to be easier later on if we rewrite it as two to the x to the power of two. Uh, that's the same for a lot of these quadratic things uh, because we're going to have to eventually replace 2 to the x with a. Okay, the second thing that I wanted to deal with was this thing here, minus 2 to the x plus 3. You're going to need one of your index laws for this. The index law is a to the m times a to the n equals uh, a to the, oops, that's not an a, equals a to the m plus n. And that's what we're dealing with here, a to the m plus n. a, negative 2, to the m plus n, x plus 3. So we can rewrite that in this form here. So I'm going to rewrite that as negative 2 to the x times uh, negative 2 to the 3. Not very intuitive at all, but uh, it works. Sorry, that's not going to be a negative 2. That's going to be a positive 2. Uh, you can have a think about why that should be a positive 2. For both of them to come out with a negative out the front, you're going to need that one to be a positive. Okay, uh, positive 16 equals 0. Now, I'm just going to work through this again. That's 2 to the x to the power of 2 minus 2 to the x times, that's an 8, plus 16 equals 0. And we're just kind of marking time here, getting some stuff done. 2 to the x, oops, actually, sorry guys, I know I keep tripping over myself here. Okay, we're pretty much set up, we're ready to go. So what we should do from here is let 2 to the x equal a. If we do that, we're going to end up with a squared minus, this is going to look a bit weird, but that's going to be an a, and it's multiplied by 8. So it's going to be minus 8a plus 16 equals 0. So now we have a true quadratic, a squared minus 8a plus 16. Now you can solve this any way you want. Uh, you can use your quadratic formula, you can use your class pad, you can factorize it if you want. Uh, but in any case, you're going to end up with only one answer. a is equal to 4. Now if a is equal to 4, and remember 2 to the x is equal to a, that means, therefore... 2 to the x equals 4, which means that 2 to the x equals 2 to the 2, which means that x equals 2. All right, sorry that was a bit of slow going, guys. Uh, that is really the hardest kind of index uh, quadratic sort of question you're going to get. Uh, practice them, and you sh hopefully uh, you'll do a lot better at them than I do. All right, thanks a lot.